we're here at the launch of the new LG G4. That is the Korean company's brand new flagship smartphone. Let's take a closer look. So it's a 5.5 inch screen with a quad HD display. It's also supposed to be 20% brighter than its predecessor. On first glance, the screen certainly looks bright and vibrant to me. Now one thing that LG really wants you to know is that it's supposed to give a touch of comfortable elegance. What that actually means is that there's two types of finish. One, a leather finish, which is supposed to feel premium, it's supposed to give a kind of quality feel. The other one, which is the finish that I have here in my hand, is this shiny plastic, and to me it doesn't quite feel as premium. Taking some inspiration from the LG G Flex 2, it has a very slightly curved frame. So that means that it's supposed to fit in your hand more comfortably and also fit the contour of your face. I can't really tell whether it does here because it's got all this on the back of it. Um, it's also supposed to make it 20% more durable. So if I drop it, the curve means it absorbs the shock a bit more, stopping it from breaking as easily. We'll be putting that to the test in our lab. Another thing that LG is really making a fuss about is the camera. They claim that it gives you a professional quality camera but in the convenience of a smartphone. So if you turn it around it has a 16 megapixel lens with an f1.8 aperture. So it means that it should let in more light and making for better photos in low light conditions. It also has an ambient light sensor again making for more natural colours. This is something we'll also be putting to the test in the lab. On the inside, you'll find a 3000 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty big, and LG claims it should give you one day of use. It's also removable, which is different from the S6s and the iPhone 6 of this world, where the battery is fixed in and it's a sealed unit, you can't get to it even if the battery fails. And the other bonus of this is that there's a micro SD card slot, so if you run out of storage space, you can pop a card in and give yourself more memory. So all in all, this is the kind of thing we would expect from a new smartphone launch. The screen is brighter, the battery is supposed to last longer, and the chipset is supposed to be more intelligent. So again, it gives you that more efficient usage. I like what they've done with the design in terms of the leather back, although I'm not quite convinced with this cheap looking plastic finish. It's an interesting proposition and I look forward to getting it into our lab soon.